Hello, Hammy here. Uh, welcome to biology here at Highland. Um, or if you're joining on the internet, just anywhere, I hope you can learn a little bit about uh, what biology is all about. Short intro video here today, just about you know what what is science, and in particular, what is biology. There are some common uh, things when we talk about science. Uh, what makes science different than all the other subjects that you study at school. Um, so we hope to take a quick look at that today and then dive in a little deeper in some of the future videos here. Now one of the first things we talk about is what is science? Uh, and again I, I tell my kids look around the room. How is your science room different than the other like history room? English room, math room, uh, well, you'll notice there might be faucets, uh, lab tables, closets full of what I call toys, um, beakers, and all the fun stuff to do cool experiments, right? That's because the way we do science uh, is, a, is a special way of, important words here, gaining knowledge about the natural world. Hey, the word science actually comes from Latin, uh, which means knowledge. So the way that scientists go about gaining knowledge and building content and their understanding of how our world works is different than some of the other subjects. And the goal, again, is to understand the natural world. Okay, and a little bit later, we'll take a look at, in another video, the scientific method. Okay, that the scientific method is the way these steps um, <clears throat> in making observations, okay, so starting right here, making observations, uh, thinking about why that might happen, coming up with possible answers, and then testing them, uh, gathering data, that's the fun part, right, with the toys experimenting, and then either say, hey, am I right, am I not? Do I need to maybe redo part of it? And then we take what we find and scientists share with other scientists. And over time, uh, we come up with different theories and laws. Uh, and so it's, it's a very, uh, though you might see different steps, they might be named different things, uh, the general sort of method in which progression that we go through is the same, even if you might call them different things. And that's what really makes science science. In order to study science, we must make four assumptions. Okay, uh, first of all, we have to assume that nature can be understood. Again, why study something uh, if it's impossible to understand it? Uh, scientists work and study and really believe that we can understand and figure out. Uh, how nature works because it's based on scientific laws. There's these laws that govern how our world works and we can use those laws to predict how things are going to happen if we can figure them out. Okay, for example, we recognize this guy over here, Isaac Newton, right? Okay, Isaac Newton, famous, uh, we don't know, if, probably not true, but an apple falls on his head and he figures out gravitational theory. Uh, last year in physical science, many of you have studied Newton's laws of motion. Uh, laws explain how our natural world works. Uh, assumption number two, scientific, scientific ideas can change. Okay, when Einstein came along later and developed his theory of relativity, uh, he didn't say Newton's laws of gravitational force and laws of motion were wrong. They were just included in... So here's laws of motion, uh, here's gravitational theory. Okay, so when Einstein came along and did his theory of relativity, uh, bad writing, I'm out of practice, uh, his theory of relativity included these as well as part of a bigger picture. Okay? Um, I often tell my biology students, here's a typical Here's a typical biology book that we've used in the past, and I, I tell biology kids, you know, maybe up to 80% of this book is not quite right. And they're like, oh, why do we study this? 
Well, because this is right according to what we think right now. Okay? But over time, as we study things and get better tools, we go back and we revise, we revise, we change uh, the ways we're thinking. Things that I learned in school, uh, in high school and college in the 90s, are different than we than are in the textbooks now. And I tell kids that all the time. Uh, and that's why I find it exciting because it's dynamic, it's changing, it's constantly new discoveries, and it makes it really cool. Okay, item number, assumption number three, uh, they can withstand the test of time. Okay, uh, John Dalton, they, about 200 years ago, they came up with the planetary model of the atom that said the protons and neutrons are in the, in the nucleus, and then you've got these electrons that are spinning around the nucleus in these little orbitals. Okay, that's been 200 years ago, and we still kind of use that as our basis uh, for how atoms work and how they're built. Even though we know that there's even smaller parts like of the atom, like neutrinos and, and quarks and stuff like that. So we just, the stuff we find out often will stand the test of time, but we just kind of modify it, and we continue to take it even deeper than what some of... Uh, famous scientists will will discover. Uh, and assumption number four, we can't answer everything. Okay, we can't answer everything because a lot of science is based on observations. So observations is done through one of your senses or an extension of your sense, like a microscope uh, or a telescope or something like that. Well, they have limitations, uh, and so we we can make <clears throat> hypotheses about how things in the natural world might work uh, but then later on as our technology gets better and better and better uh, then we're able to make those discoveries that we weren't you know how many years ago and that continues to be the case uh, in our in our uh, science knowledge our science experiment these days okay so in science hopefully these things kind of give you an understanding of you know, that we're trying to figure out how nature works. Uh, things that people have presented in the past um, have stood the test of time. Uh, they often will change, and they're built upon. Those foundations of science are built upon. And But we can't answer everything. Uh, there's some things that are sort of outside. Uh, you can get into some ph philosophical type questions and stuff. Uh, that's not for science. Okay, science can be hard tested uh, through experimentation and observation and those type of things. Okay, so hope this quick intro kind of whets your appetite a little bit to what we're going to be doing here in biology this year. I'll see you next video.